six months later. The red lipstick murder? Oh, wow. Wow. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over. Oh, this guy. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst. I like my suit. Lloyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a cheer. You're in the major leagues now, son. Rusty Galloway, fine lawman of the old school, will be taking one of his wings. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and burning all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Each desk offers new and new set of crimes. Okay. This is my you new. You have the address. Been all over KGPL. This is my new partner. South Tampa Street, in Belmont, and Glendale. Mm -hmm. How is it that? I'll drive. What happened to Rose? Parker wants to see his job. Word is if you're looking at the hammer tragedy. Is there a way to turn off the, the audio? Because I realize that I got a copyright thing on it, man. I have to like somehow find a way to music Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Where does both the deck? Well, where does that leave you, Galloway? There we go. Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News. Ooh. Sorry. Slow and steady. Come on. Sorry, L.A. <laughs> the Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Are any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's going to happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Crime scene is just up a dirt road, detective. Scoop for the examiner, Galloway. You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? You have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered hunks. They used to it, Phelps. 
Moving along, guys. You got your pictures. You got your headline. A scram. Oh, wow. This person got wrecked. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. So known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body. No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker in the corner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back to the lab. Okay. I got some test results to process, but I need to give evidence at an arraignment. The victim's bag? Brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Mm, red lipstick murder, eh? Okay. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Oh, I gotta form the countries. Uh, how do I grab the bottom one? There we go. Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? It's a pretty good lighter. The Bomba Club? Let me see what this guy says. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Cause of death? Could be the head injuries. The cuts look superficial. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Interesting. F U B D T E. What's the writing on the victim mean? B D. Like Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it. Oh, the Black Dahlia murder. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. When we get to the bomba, man could die of thirst in a case like this. Okay, let me just do a quick check to see if I left anything in terms of clues. Oh! Interesting. I was walked out of here missing this. It doesn't appear to be connected. Oh. It doesn't tell me anything. Hmm. 
Here I am thinking I discovered something. Oh, death. whoops. I'll let my partner drive. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Going to the Bomba Club player. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in a corpse. He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monitors, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was then. Right? I'm not even driving into this thing gone to an accident. Is now? Uh, dead by his own Are you head, kidding me? Stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country. Who I should have drove if I had known I was going to watch the whole thing. I'm going to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. I like that lighter from the Bomba Club. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't, but the owner, Mr. McCall, serves him most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fly away, fellas. I'll stay here in a little park. Pour me three things and ride. Sam is taking me to Palm Springs. I started my shift 20 minutes ago. You're better off talking to the bartender. Seems irrelevant. You want a tip? You put my Is this a Coke machine? What is this? Calderon cigarettes. House officer. That's the spirit. Only another. Keep me up for walking down the street. He's a bit of a gangero. What? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. What is that? Was it this guy that did it? I don't trust this guy already. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at 
first. Celine already had quite a head start. And she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. All right, you're you're, so, you're done. You're telling the truth. I'm gonna go good cop with you. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, around eleven. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. At the Bomber Club, get Dick McCall to give the license plate. Okay, I did the right thing. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not the bomb man. club, eh? You hiding something, player? I'm going bad cop. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But... He refused. She picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30. Got no answer. Alright. Thanks, Mr. McColl. Two out of two, correct. Up. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? The stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through the bomber now. club, eh? <laughs> Phelps, one, two, four, seven. I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2-boy-8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thank you. You driving, cuz? You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, fellas. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job of a healthy thirst to fend your cold. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined.
Just a quick check around the house. In case I find something I am. Well, can't go through there. I'll try the back door. Right here, sir. Side window's been Jimmy. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Emily Burton Teth? Said I had to go back, Doctor. Fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. Circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with it. You said the house would be empty. How can I find peace? Okay. I saw a note on the on the, on the fridge mirror there. I'm gonna take a look at that. Not much help. Size nines, above average for a lady. Circumstantial. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? I think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit. You got another thing coming, Buster. $30 in 19.45. I wonder how much that is today. So me and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. One of my after drank like this would be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Let me make sure I just checked every room before I cut out of here. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. Tiffany. Mm. The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Not sure this means much. Deodorant? What did I say? Regular Amelia Earhart in her day. Amelia Earhart, I, sh I actually know who that is. Mm. 
this doesn't pertain to the case. Ah, oh, there are wow, there are other rooms I'd even check. What is this? Doesn't give me anything to go on. Okay, that's the bedroom. That's the other door I can't go through. That's the living room. The newspaper, the records, the piano, which I've already checked. What the? Oh, I already checked that. Check that out too. All right, time to holler at the neighbors. LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss Horgan? Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Okay. You driving again, partner. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we'll see what he has to say. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keep the house looking like that, she probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in. I'll keep the hats off her back for a Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, Phelps, we're going hard. Follow my lead. All right, buddy. Are these are these all the apartments looking in Los Angeles? Like, like, like this? Like, this is a little weird design. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic. Oh, oh my God! RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's, We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I, I'd even flash a warrant, and here I am. I get into this mm. I don't think this is any use to us.
oldest problem there is. Thanks for what the offer. Need you something about my wife. Death threat note, eh? We got you now, player. We got you now. Suitcase packs because you're trying to cut. Okay. Size 11. Oh, come on. Okay, that suitcase is not open. Incidental. Interesting. Go inside the house, cuz. Let's have a chat. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, nigga? Bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Is this guy telling the truth? You know that she drinks, Jacob. Drunks have regular haunts, places they feel relaxed. Celine did most of her drinking at home. She didn't have many friends left. Not many alcoholics do. Not real friends, anyway. Oh, I got that wrong. Nice. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Hmm, I can't even use like a skill point or whatever I got. I'm gonna go good cop, man. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look. I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Oh, he's capping. Might have been a little later, but... Cap. Right around 9. Oh, I got that right. Nice. <laughs> Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Should I accuse this guy? Accuse. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Yes, I have a note. Right in your crib, sucker. <laughs> ah, give him that. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? The truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. Yes, I got that right. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Alibi for Jacob Henry. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I 
came back here, I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. Not the going out type. Telephoning Jacob Henry repeated, repeatedly on night of murder. So this guy was home when the murder happened. Which probably means he's telling the truth. Hmm. I, w I wish I had one of those intuition things, but I don't think I do. Alright, what the heck, man. Whoa, I saw you move your eyes there, cuz. Back up. So you were here, tucked up in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got? Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you, he called here last night, and I answered the phone. We're still gonna need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife, and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? It was a loss of the trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth! <laughs> so now you're gonna tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. What the? Okay. How do you block stuff again? Just, you're not. What's this button? There we go. Oh my god. I'm about to get beat down by a dude. Ah! <laughs> Beat him down! I don't know how to beat this guy down again! Oh, yeah. oh god. This is hilarious. I'm about to fight a dude I can't even fight because I don't know how to... Take that, sir. Get KO'd. Oh, and my hat's magically back on. Get a squad car dispatch. And check for messages. I'll keep old slugger here, company. First of all, I can't even tell if I got that question right. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. What Thanks, the heck? Doctor. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. I still would like to know whether I got that question right. That was close still, I will admit. Bro, are you driving, man? You gotta go back to the office? You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Carruthers said she took a real pounding. 
Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Colfax? No, sir. Good. I thought you. Jacob Henry is a sub system pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his religion, Colfax? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate hmm. the pressure from poor children and public disinfectants. Run along now, folks. I won't be much nicer. Are we doing this again? Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I was home in bed. Don't lie to me, man. You were at home in bed while your wife was putting out to some stranger? What kind of man are you, Jacob, that you allow that? Son of a bitch. You got no right talking about my wife like that. How did I get that wrong? You did it. Everything points to you. What does text mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Intuition. Okay, we're not going to do asset community. I think it's a little too easy if I do that. If you didn't kill her, then who did, Jacob? I, I don't know. I don't like to think about it. I know she met other men. I know it. Maybe it was one of them. I got that wrong too? Wow. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart, and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. Be able to understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her. All right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. I don't see any way out of this unless you give us something. Phelps. You failed, Mr. Damn it. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, fellas. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by this time of peace. I failed him. Can I, can I do it again? Still 
pulled down the conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Well, we have. <sighs> Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Apartment 2, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, never mind. Apartment 16. Mendez, apartment 16. I feel like this guy's gonna burst out of his room and try to catch up to Mans. I have to go chase him down or something. The heck, where the heck am I? Apartment 16. Apartment 10, 11, 12. Okay, this guy lives higher up. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. <laughs> Take a look around and see what you can find. Got for me, Mr. Mendez. Get out of the way, sir. Not everything here is going to be relevant. I don't think so. This isn't what we're looking for. No good to me. I think this is going to help us. This guy's apartment is pretty huge. Probably nothing? That's his pistol. What do you mean, probably nothing? Ah, what do we have here, sir? Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. And then her, her what was that, makeup there? Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. The murder weapon. Better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. I knew he cut. I knew this. I'm like, this guy's. I'll go get our wheels. What the? Mendez, stop right there. I You don't need to do this, Alonzo. Can I fire a warning shot? Damn, this guy's palms must be certain. Get in and drive. No, you drive. Whatever. Get out of the way, sir.
I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle, and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. Phelps, you got to get me closer. I can't. These cars don't go faster than what they already are. Like I him, Cole. Spin him out. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Got him. Disable a suspect vehicle with the help from your partner. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Well, you want to play hardball with me, Mr. Alonzo? You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to put yourself in your first down in the Bro, you were cussing me out in the office. Now you're praising me? I don't trust this guy. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the course of a deal with you. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city. Kind of cheese. I thought I did pr okay to start this case, and I realized that I missed two clues and a couple questions I got wrong. I crashed the car a couple times. Ah. Jacob Henry's left him more while Mendez waits in lockup for a visit from the DA. What kind of case knows for that? Oh well. Not bad. On to the next one, sir.